to Brashonomics. Uh, lucky enough to have Paul Cokerhook join us, owner of Pathway Design and Constructions, and who is also an American Lung Association master home environmentalist. Paul, how are you, man? I'm great. Thanks for having me back. You know, I, it's great to have you. And, <laughs> you know, a lot of people have this maybe misconception of how healthy the inside of their house is or maybe what they can do to make it healthier. Maybe explain a little bit about what a healthy interior of a home means and uh, then how people could, you know, maybe raise the healthiness of it. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about a personal experience that I had, and it kind of goes to maybe a little bit more to indoor health of ourselves, but also for our animals. Kind of kind of strange. You yeah. wouldn't think about the healthier animals as being a big thing. But so uh, my wife You'd and I- You'd be surprised. Yes. Well, that's, yeah, probably not for <laughs> me, but yeah. <laughs> um, my wife and I were living in Reno for a while, and we had a dog in an apartment, right? And we were gone, and we'd go out and do things. And Notice that the dog would kind of act weird when we got home. So we decided, let's get the dog some sort of companion. So we decided, well, let's get a couple hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it actually worked really well no to get kidding. to get the dog a couple of hamsters. And you're supposed to, I guess, get like two hamsters in a cage so that they mm-hmm. um, don't get lonely. Sure. And I don't know. Sure. But uh, so. We, in long story short, kind of, we, we moved back to Seattle, bought a house to remodel, and we still had the hamsters and the dog. And during that course of that remodel, we were, we was like, we we was, right? You that's, were. That's horrible <laughs> that's, English. It's all good. Um, but uh, we decided, well, we're going to, let's paint the master bedroom. So we went out to one of the box stores, found a great paint, and loved it. Haystack was the color. And, and it was a beautiful yellow, and it worked, you know, just kind of made the room very, very soft and, and warm and inviting and sure. um, kind of a place that you want to sleep in. And so we painted it and went out with some friends that night. And while we were painting, it was like, gosh, this is really stinky. It, <laughs> it stinks really bad in yeah. here. And, but, you know, I've been painting houses since I was 12. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we'd go to the paint store, buy paint, put it on the wall, and it stunk. It's just kind of the way... The way it is, but it th- this seemed a little bit different to me. I don't, I don't know. And from a guy who, I mean, remodels homes, you would probably yeah. know what stinky paint is like. Yeah, and th- I think it had to do with the color, some some of the color additives um, in the paint, and it made it a little bit stronger. Anyway, we went out to dinner, came back, and the hamsters were dead. <laughs> and you know, wow. it was kind of like at that point, it was like, God, the hamsters died. What? It, and what Both are the, of them? Yeah. What are the odds, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, as I Poor as hamsters. I'm, I mean, we're laughing like it's sad, but I mean, you pretty much gassed your hamsters. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a canary in <clears> a cage. Horrible. And um, we, uh, so you know, as I'm as I'm learning about interior finishes <laughs> and how they really affect it's, you know, I I, I kind of reflect back on some of these experiences that I've had in my life mm-hmm. and seeing. God, I killed two hamsters because I love the color of this paint, and I didn't pay any attention to what it was I was actually putting in my home. What was there a warning label on it? Well, like, I'm just, this paint has is, been known to kill lab rats or something. Well, you know, there's always those warning labels, right? This, yeah, it's true. This product contains chemicals sure. known to the state of California, not Washington. Sure, it doesn't happen here. No, to to cause cancer or whatever. Sure, sure. Um, so. We can't chew sugarless gum either, so I get it. (laughs) So that that got me starting to think. Okay, gosh, there's there's things that we're doing that you really need to pay attention to. Yeah, it it just doesn't. The the color of the paint is not. It shouldn't really be the driving force as to what you're putting in your home. Well, I imagine if the paint is killing the hamsters, I mean that's still not good for you or your dog, who's probably sitting there wondering what happened to his friends. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, exactly. So what? So you know, if the color, you know, maybe you have to switch colors or whatnot. But what are some of the strategies to maybe decorate or or get your interior the way you want it without, you know, killing animals? Yeah. So if we're if we're talking about paint, paint's probably one of the easiest things you can do to really change um, how a room feels. And um, so you need to look at uh, whether the cans are um, labeled as a low or no VOC paint. Um, but even then, you still have to you still have to worry about what. So if you're choosing, so the paint that comes in the can is going to be white. It's just going to be a, a stark white paint, and mm-hmm. then you have to add additives to the paint in order mm-hmm. to make the colors. And the darker the colors, the more additives, and the more um, it, potentially the more VOCs 
that are going to be added back into the paint. So a no VOC paint could potentially be a high VOC paint or a, or a what does VOC mean? So volatile organic chemical. Okay. Um, and it's a, it's an off gassing, um, and it, it, you know it gets into the ozone. It's gassy. And yeah, and it's not it's not healthy. Okay. Um, so it, a, a no VOC paint could potentially become a a low VOC paint or something higher than a no VOC paint. Mm -hmm. um, so it, you really need to pay attention to that. But there's a lot of paint stores now that are um, offering uh, no VOC additives. So just asking the questions um, if, if it's available is a good thing to do. Paul Kokerhook joins us, and in just a few minutes we'll let you know how you can get a free healthy home assessment. Um, Paul, so... You know, talking about the different gases, I guess, that come off products and, uh, you know, can actually, I mean, as you mentioned, can kill animals, uh, which makes it not real healthy for you or your kids. Um, what are some other pieces or, or, or some other factors of home interiors that can maybe be dangerous that, that you'd recommend avoiding? So if we're looking at, uh, say, finishes um, for wood. So we've talked about paints, but we also have stains and clear coats um, that get they get put on um our, our wood products, and so looking at looking at those in the same light as you would a um, a paint, um, usually uh, a water-based paint or a water-based sealer um, clear coat is going to be a healthier option. But not all of them are made the same, so it's important to pay attention to what's uh, the manufacturer's installation. Um, uh, the installation information guide, that they, yeah, the guide sure. that they give you. Read the it, directions. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, Paul, is there any other things? And, and, and again, <laughs> I want to get to your hamster's name because it's a little comical. But uh, is there anything else people should be thinking about as far as keeping the interior of their house healthy? Yeah. So do you have granite countertops I do. in your house? Do you I seal do. them? Have I, you, have I, you ever, I, have I you ever sealed them? I do not seal them. Uh, somebody may have. Okay. So along, along the line. So usually... There's, they should be sealed. I mean, they uh, appear to be glossy. It doesn't feel like rock. Helps. It helps. They're probably chipping in places. They are chipping. Yeah. You, you, they are chipping in places. Yeah. It, so those chips obviously probably haven't been sealed. Um, so whatever is on the surface could potentially be leaching. So it's a good idea to just um, reseal the chip. Reseal, reseal, reseal your, reseal your showers. Reseal your your granite countertops. But also paying attention to granite countertops being a place where you put food. And if you put in, if you don't have anything between the food and the countertop, um, you could potentially be getting some sort of chemical uh, on it. the food, and then you're ingesting it, which is bad. Which, yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Paul, uh, <laughs> so really, it's about keeping the, the areas clean where you are eating and breathing. Um, your hamster, Millie Vanilli. That's, uh, yes, in, in Millie and Vanilli. Oh, <laughs> Millie and Vanilli. <laughs> yeah. uh, tragically passed away in a off-gassing incident when you painted your house uh, yellow, That's the interior right. of your room. Um, is it all yellow paints? Or was it just this one specific yellow this, paint? Is, is there a, something in yellow paint that makes it dangerous? Uh, no, it's not all yellow paints. No, absolutely not. It's just, it's. I think it's paints in general. Okay. Yeah, so don't worry about if if you find a no VOC yellow, yellow that you like, <laughs> so that's, yeah, go yellow, with it. Yellow, yellow is not the issue here. It was right. the actual. I mean, it's just interesting. You know, you start thinking, well, I can't get that yellow paint. My kid has hamsters, and you just never know what'll happen. That's right. Um. So, how do people find out if their house is healthy? I mean, it takes kind of this assessment, and uh, we. I know you'd love to actually give a couple away. Um, just by reaching out, and you can find Paul on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Brashonomics uh, to g sign up for one of these free assessments. And, uh, and tell us a little bit about how you go through these free home assessments. So we have a checklist um, that we go through. Uh, we, we put it together in um, conjunction with the American Lung Association and just looking at the home as a whole. Um, if a lot of times people have uh, children with allergies, or uh, maybe they have an uh, older, an adult that's an older adult that's moving back home with them that might have some sort of medical issues, um, and really looking at the house um, as a whole. So whether it be making sure that you have uh, water leaks taken care of, um, are you vacuuming? Are you washing your children's stuffed animals? Or are they sleeping with these dirty, dusty? things that's then potentially causing them to get the sniffles when they wake up. Mm -hmm. uh, so just it's it's very basic, 
but it's kind of it's common sense but a lot of times common sense we just don't pay attention to sure you know washing animals coming from a guy who <laughs> killed a couple of hamsters I, i'm not sure that the stuffed animals are the biggest problem but uh, no paul seriously there is a lot going on that inside a house that i think can probably be detrimental to somebody's health yeah and as you said it's everything from washing stuffed animals to avoiding the toxic paint yes Maybe Millie and Vanilli. <laughs> Rest in peace. Paul, thanks so much for joining us again. Paul Cook, owner with Pathway Design Construction. Reach out to our Facebook page to see how you can win a free healthy home assessment. We'll be right back.